Hi, I'm Diane Vadalat, an international grooming consultant for the Andis Company. We're here today to show you some tips and tricks on how to set and trim the tail on the poodle. I'm going to be setting the base of the tail with the Pulse Ion adjustable blade clipper. You could also use the AGC2 Ultra Edge clipper with a 10 blade. I'm also going to be scissoring in the palm of the tail using a set of 8 inch straight shears and 8 inch curved shears. When you have a dog with a really nice tail set, which Denali does have, an easy way to determine how high to clip up on the tail is to pull it down, find the bottom of the rectum, and that would be where your clipper line would be. If your dog doesn't have such a nice tail set, you can visualize where the shoulder blade comes and just visualize the line and that would show you. But since he has such a nice tail set, we're going to pull the, the palm hair out of the way, pull the tail down, line it up at the bottom of the rectum, and clip that much. You want to make sure you clip all the way to the base of the tail. So I just kind of, once I have it set how high I want to go, I just clip straight down into the, where the dog's body meets the tail. You want to make sure you clip all the way around so you have a nice clean band. You can also put a little inverted V or a U you want to make it a little fancier. And it's just a matter of coming in, you find the hip bones, you find the spine, and I put my finger there and I just, using the corner, just like I did for the eyes, use the corner of the clipper and come out and then you just clean it up and you have a pretty V shape on your tail. Now setting our pom pom, Again, we're going to lift it up, we're going to hold all the hair up, we're going to line it up with the top of the dog's head, visually, pull it up, make sure you are past the actual tail. You're going to take your 8 inch straight shears and you're just going to take whatever's past that line. You're going to comb it all out. So it's standing away from the dog, tail. Let it fall naturally. Again, with your straight shears, you're going to cut off anything that hangs below where you just set your clipper line. You wanna go all the way around. You wanna make sure the blades of your scissors are at a right angle to the tail. That will give you a pretty bevel. You're going to comb it out. Then you're going to take your curved shears and just go around the outside and take off anything that is outside your round tail or in this case when you do a standard, you do an oval shaped tail because they're bigger dog. And that gives you a very pretty shaped tail.